Imagine earning six figures working from anywhere and creating impactful web applications. Sounds interesting? That's the life of a back-end developer. Back-end development is more than just a job, it's a ticket to financial stability and professional flexibility. It's a role that's in high demand across industries, with companies willing to pay top dollar for skilled developers. As a back-end developer, you have the chance to shape the digital world. You're the architect behind the scenes, building the foundation of websites and applications, creating functionalities that users interact with every day. Whether it's a social media site, an e-commerce platform or a productivity tool, as a back-end developer, you have the power to make these platforms run smoothly and efficiently. The satisfaction of creating something that millions of people use is unmatched. It's a job that combines creativity with logic, problem-solving with innovation. Now if this sounds like a career you'd love, let's dive into the roadmap to become a back-end developer. So, where do we start? With the basics, of course. Picture coding as a language. Just as you can't write a novel without knowing your ABCs, you can't dive into back-end development without understanding the fundamentals of coding. It's the building block of all things digital. Now there are a plethora of coding languages out there, each with its unique syntax, structure, and use cases. However, for beginners venturing into back-end development, two languages often recommended are Python and JavaScript. Python, the language named after the British comedy group Monty Python, is known for its simple syntax and readability. It's like the English of programming languages, making it a great starting point for beginners. Python is versatile and powerful, used in a variety of fields, from web development to data science, artificial intelligence, and more. On the other hand, JavaScript, despite its name, is not related to Java. It's the language of the web, running in your browser to make websites interactive. It's also used in back-end development thanks to Node.js, a JavaScript runtime that allows JavaScript to run on a server. Mastering these two languages provides a strong foundation for back-end development. Python can help you grasp the basics of server-side programming, while JavaScript will introduce you to asynchronous programming and event-driven architecture, both crucial in back-end development. But remember, coding is not just about writing lines of code. It's about problem-solving, logic, and creativity. It's about understanding how different elements interact with each other, how data flows, and how to build efficient, scalable solutions. As you dive into coding, you'll stumble, you'll falter, and that's perfectly fine. Embrace the challenges, for they are the stepping stones to mastery. Use online resources, practice, build small projects, and don't shy away from asking for help. Master these languages and you've taken your first step into the world of back-end development. With the basics under your belt, it's time to dive into the heart of back-end development, the languages. This is where things start to get really exciting as we delve into the tools that will allow us to communicate with servers, manage data, and build the functionalities that make websites and applications tick. Let's kick things off with PHP, a classic in the world of back-end development. PHP is a server-side scripting language, meaning it's designed to run on a web server. It's been around for a while and is renowned for its simplicity and versatility. If you've ever used WordPress, you've seen PHP in action as it's the backbone of the platform. Next up, we have Ruby. Ruby is an object-oriented language prized for its elegance and readability. It's often used with Rails, a framework that provides a structure for the code, helping you to build applications more efficiently. Together, they're known as Ruby on Rails, a powerful duo that's used by companies like Airbnb and Hulu. Then there's Node.js, which isn't a language in itself, but a runtime environment that allows JavaScript to run on the server side. JavaScript, primarily a front-end language, can now be used as a full-stack language thanks to Node.js. This means you can use the same language for both the front and back end of your applications, streamlining your development process. But how do these languages communicate with the server and manage data? Well, they do so through APIs, or application programming interfaces. These are sets of rules and protocols that allow different software applications to communicate with each other. For instance, when you're ordering a pizza online, the website uses an API to send your order to the pizza place's server. The server then sends back a response confirming your order, all thanks to the back-end language. So, you see, back-end languages are the unsung heroes of the digital world, working behind the scenes to make everything run smoothly. Choose a language that resonates with you and start practicing. It's a journey, but one that's well worth the effort. Now let's talk about Laravel, a powerful PHP framework that makes back-end development a breeze. 
Laravel is essentially a set of tools wrapped together to make the process of creating web applications smoother and more efficient. It's built with PHP, one of the most widely used languages in the world of web development. Now you might be thinking, what's so special about Laravel? Well, Laravel is all about simplifying and speeding up the development process. One of the key features of Laravel is its elegant syntax. It's designed to be intuitive, making it easier for developers to write clean, maintainable code. It's almost like writing in plain English. You don't need to wrestle with complex code structures. Laravel has got you covered. Routing is another powerful feature of Laravel. It provides a simple, fluent interface to defining routes for your application. This means you can easily control which URLs lead to which pieces of your code. It's all about giving you more control over your application's behavior. Now let's talk about ORM, or Object Relational Mapping. Laravel's eloquent ORM provides a beautiful, simple active record implementation for working with your database. This means you can work with your database objects and relationships using expressive syntax, making it easier to manage and manipulate your data. Security is also a significant concern in back-end development, and Laravel has that covered too. It uses hashed and salted passwords, which means your users' passwords will never be saved as plain text in the database. Laravel also provides a simple way to protect against cross-site request forgery, SQL injection, and cross-site scripting. In a nutshell, Laravel offers a clean, simple way to build robust, secure web applications. It's a tool that simplifies the tedious tasks in web development, allowing you to focus more on creating fantastic applications. It's not just a framework, it's a lifesaver for back-end developers. Laravel is a tool that can supercharge your back-end development skills. Knowledge is power, but practice makes perfect. As we dive into this segment, let's get one thing clear. Understanding the theoretical concepts of coding is essential. But to truly master back-end development and Laravel, you need to get your hands dirty. It's all about building projects, gaining real-world experience, and learning from your mistakes. Let's think about it. You wouldn't trust a pilot who's never flown a plane, right? The same principle applies to coding. Employers aren't just looking for knowledge, they're looking for proof of that knowledge in action. Your ability to apply what you've learned in a real-world context is what will set you apart. So how do you gain this experience? Start with personal projects, build a simple website, create a blog or a web app, try your hand at developing an API. The goal here isn't to reach perfection, but to learn. Each project you undertake teaches you something new. It's a chance to apply the principles you've learned and see them in action. But don't stop at personal projects. Participate in coding challenges and competitions. Contribute to open source projects. These activities not only help you gain experience but also expose you to the broader coding community. You'll get to see how other developers solve problems, and you'll learn new techniques and approaches. And don't forget the power of internships and part-time jobs. These opportunities provide a structured environment where you can learn from experienced professionals. You'll work on real projects, face real challenges and learn how to work as part of a team. Plus, they'll look great on your resume. Remember, every line of code you write is a step forward. Each bug you squash, each error you resolve, each feature you build, they all add to your experience. They make you a better developer. They help you understand the intricacies of back-end development in Laravel, and they make you more attractive to employers. So, don't shy away from challenges. Embrace them. Use them as learning opportunities. Because at the end of the day, coding isn't just about theory. It's about application. It's about problem solving. It's about creating something from nothing. Remember, the more you code, the better you become. Finally, the journey doesn't end here. In fact, it's just beginning. As with any field, back-end development is ever-evolving. New technologies, tools, and practices emerge regularly, making continuous learning a must. It's not just about keeping up with changes, but also about expanding your skill set and staying at the forefront of innovation. And let's not forget about networking. Connecting with other developers, both online and offline, can open up a world of opportunities. Forums, webinars, and coding communities are fantastic places to learn from others, share your knowledge, and even collaborate on projects. Remember, the collective wisdom of a community often outweighs that of a single individual. One more thing, don't be afraid of making mistakes. They're part of the learning process. Embrace them, learn from them, and move forward. That's what growth looks like in the world of coding. Stay curious, keep learning, and you'll be on your way to a successful career in back-end development.